hey guys i want you to pardon my video quality and uh, this is a quick tutorial so i won't waste your time i'm going to show you in this video how you can transfer file from your windows to an iphone seamlessly without uh using an, any external app like zender or whatever app you guys use out there i'm going to show you how you can move files easily from your iphone to your windows from your windows to your iphone and vice versa easily every time anytime you want to move a video so um, if you're new to this channel, I want you to smash on the subscribe button and turn on my post notification. I'm sorry I've not uploaded the video in a long time, um, but I think this is a good start. So let's dive right into this and let me show you how you can do that. I've been trying to do this for a long time, so <laughs> I won't waste your time again. Let's dive right into this. All right, so the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure your iPhone is connected to the same network as your PC. So if you're connecting your iPhone to your network, you should make sure the Wi-Fi is connected like it's in the same wi-fi network i don't know is that can you easily understand that so you have to first of all make sure your windows and your iphone are connected to the same wi-fi network the same wi-fi network so you're either powering your pc with your iphone um wi-fi or hotspot or you're both connected to uh to the same wi-fi all right so I don't know how to explain this no more so just make sure they are connected to the same wi-fi all right so when you've done that now you can follow the next step all right so for the next step you are going to hit on the windows and you're going to tap in type in the cmd and you run as administrator make sure you run as administrator else it's going to give you an error so now you're going to type in the net user open a quote airdrop close the quote um make space and then you type in another quote one two three which is the password the airdrop in this case is the file name i want to use i chose airdrop it can be whatever name you want to use so open quotes and i'm going to input the password which is one two three uh, that's the password i want to use for my folder and i'm going to close the quote and i'm going to use the slash and add and I hit on enter and you can see it is now command completed successfully so next i'm going to click on my file and i'm going to create a folder with the name airdrop I'm going to create a new folder with the name airdrop so i'm going to go to my desktop and i'm going to hit on new create new folder and i'm going to type in airdrop as the name now when i type in this airdrop i just created the airdrop i created already in my cmd i'm just making sure it's available i'm going to right click and i'm going to click on properties now from the properties bar we want to uh, adjust the uh, sharing properties to make sure both the iphone and the windows have access to this folder and can share file so i'm going to click on properties sharing and then share now we have to choose people to share with so we are going to click on the drop down and we're going to select the folder we created which is airdrop remember we created this uh, folder from the cmd and we added the password which is one two three and we also created the folder on our desktop which is the second step so i'm going to click on add the add and i'm going to click on read and write and after that i'm going to hit on the share button over there it's going to take us to the next window i will click done and help yep, we're back here i'm going to click on advanced sharing yeah this is another set i'm going to click on share this folder and and i'll click on permission next i'll click on add and i'm going to impute the folder we've created which is airdrop in this case and blank space click on airdrop uh, click, click on check names and then okay click on check names and hit ok then we give full control select full control we've selected full control because we want both the windows and the iphone to have control to read and write this folder whenever they want uh, you can send and you can transfer from both parts so click on apply click on ok and click on apply again click on ok and close that all right, for almost the final aid, you want to know the IP address of your system. So you click on CMD prompt and then you type in IP config. Once you're connected to an internet, um, which is the Wi-Fi, you click on IP app config and you see your IP address and the IPv4 uh, address. IPv4 address, that's the IP address. Make sure you save that or you memorize it or write it down somewhere because it's going to be important when you open your iPhone. All right, next you open your iPhone, you click on file, you click on the three dots up there, you click on connect to server, you click on connect to server, that's going to open up and then you're going to type your IP address, the IP address which you just 
scanned with your IP address on the command prompt. You click on the IP address, you type it right here. My own is 172.20 blah 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 whatever you click ok and then you click on register user and when you click on register user you type the name of the folder which is airdrop and then you type in the password which is the one two three i one two three we created that uh, i created you can also the password might be different but in my case is one two three and i'm going to click on next now you can see the ip address over there which is the folder has been created and i'm going to click on airdrop um, because this is where i uh, have my this is this is the folder the airdrop folder that is where we're going to click on the airdrop folder because that is where i want to be moving my files into so whenever i'm connected to the same network and i move files into this folder for my pc it's going to automatically appear on my iphone and then i can save from this folder all right let's do a quick illustration on how this works so first i have my airdrop folder opened and i'm going to open another folder which is windows e simple uh i'm going to set them side by side so you can see what i mean so i'm going to look for a random stuff and then i'm going to copy and put and paste it into this folder so you can see how it works seamlessly so now we've done with all the sharing and whatever so i'm going to just going to move one of this screenshot i got from the brooklyn 99 i'm going to move it into this folder now when i open my iphone you see that it automatically shares crazy look at this is crazy like i was so happy when i did this and i was really really glad i was able to do it now i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to go to my gallery in my um image gallery and i'm going to select a picture and i'm going to post that picture here and um see what works so i'm going to select this video and i'm going to just minimize and i'm going to share it on my um airdrop folder and it's going to appear immediately on my airdrop folder on my pc now we can move this and save it to my gallery whatever you can see the same video this is crazy like i was so very happy when i did this so you can have fun with this and that is how you can share folder and you can keep moving from one folder pasting and sharing just have fun with it just have fun with it so that is how you can actually share folder now you've had your own airdrop and that is that all right if you think this video was helpful please smash the subscribe button turn on my post notification share to your friends colleagues and let them know the easiest way to do a drop on your device now you don't have to use bluetooth you don't have to use uh zender to share file just connect this and you are set for life forever free sharing <laughs> Smash the subscribe button, turn on my post notification. Thank you. See you guys later. Peace out.